Welcome to a virtual tour of Leggett Hall at Texas A&M University. We will look at some of the amenities, common spaces, and dorm rooms at the end. Leggett Hall was built in 1911, making it the oldest dorm on campus, although it has been remodeled multiple times. Still, the building layout is very unique. Each floor has its own door and set of stairs. It's more like four buildings stacked on top of each other since you must exit the building and re-enter to switch floors. As a resident, you will have access to every floor of the building and are able to use the common spaces on a first come, first serve basis. The basement lounges are the best place for hanging out or group gatherings. A table and multiple couches provides plenty of seating or space for eating. There are two TVs with HDMI ports and cable television. You can also find a vending snack machine and an ice machine. In the TV lounge, there are plenty of whiteboards, which make space for homework, studying, or doodling. The community kitchen is available for any resident to use. There is a select number of dishes and pots. If you need a specific pan or utensil, it's best to just bring your own. The full-size refrigerator is available to be used by residents as long as the food is labeled and discarded as necessary. The Leggett basement houses a drink vending machine and a color printer. All students receive a $30 printing allocation every semester. This can be used by uploading your document to aggieprint.tamu.edu. By swiping your student ID, the document can be printed at any printer on campus. Equipped with a whiteboard wall, the study lounge is a quiet and convenient space to work on your academics. Each hallway has at least one water fountain with a bottle filler, trash, and recycling bin. Here's a glimpse into the community bathrooms. There are multiple toilets and showers on every floor, with floor to ceiling walls. There are long mirrors and counters with outlets for getting ready. Each of the showers have towel hooks, small shelves, and a footrest, as well as a shower curtain, a bench, and a stall door. Every floor has a guest bathroom for non-residents to use while visiting like it. There are two washers and dryers on every floor. They're included within housing and free to use. This lounge located on the first floor is another great place to hang out with friends and watch TV or study with the whiteboard.
Each set of stairs to the third floor has a loft area at the top with a table and chairs. This is another great place to study or chat with friends. Moving on to the dorm room tours, here's a layout of Luckett. Each floor is an oval shape where the rooms are around the outside in the pink. The bathrooms are in the middle in the green and the few single rooms are in the blue. Remember, each floor is stacked on top of each other and has their own set of stairs. There are no elevators. There are five different types of rooms within Leggett. There is one video of each as well as a list of similar rooms throughout the dorm, as you can see here. Every room comes with a standard set of furniture per person. This includes a twin XL bed and loftable bed frame, desk, desk chair, locking cabinet, dresser, large bookcase, and small bookcase slash shelving. These are movable and some pieces are stackable. Additionally, each occupant gets their own closet, three built-in shelves with cabinets underneath. Each room has a sink with cabinet underneath, mirrored medicine cabinet, full-length mirror, and coat hooks. Internet and cable television are included with housing. There is at least one ethernet port and coaxial or cable connection in each room. There is Wi-Fi across campus and in all the residence halls. Students can access this by logging into their student account. The single occupant rooms, like this, have one set of furniture and no windows. There are two versions of the corner adjacent rooms, depending on where the closets are placed. The closets will determine the available options to set up the beds and rest of the furniture. In room 105, there is one closet near the door and one near the back of the room. However, in room 127, both of the closets are near the front.
Thanks and gig'em. If you have any questions, feel free to comment them below.